Today we're making a cassoulet, and there's a very good chance the French will hate me for it. So Wikipedia says that a cassoulet, the French pronunciation is cassoulet, is a rich, slow-cooked casserole originating in the south of France containing meat, typically pork, sausages, goose, duck, and sometimes mutton, which is mature lamb. Pork skin and white beans. Well, we're using white beans. We're using sausage. And there's bacon, which technically is pork. Uh, I'm not doing it the traditional way, which may piss off people, but I'm making it an easy, delicious way that you will love. We start with some bacon for flavor. Not a lot, just a little. And when it's about halfway cooked, we put in onion and carrot. And by the way, we're doing all of this in an oven safe pan because it's ultimately going into the oven. And the onion and carrot get about five minutes until they start to soften a bit. Okay, while that's cooking, let's cut some sausage. And this is like a half a pound of linguiça. It's already cooked, a little bit spicy Portuguese sausage that's gonna go in and it's gonna be fantastic. And in it goes, and in. Now that gets a couple minutes to start to brown a little bit. Okay, so now when you've started to get some color on the sausage, nice little corner like this, like this, right? Beautiful, nice little color. Now we're gonna add some garlic, and this is one giant clove or two regular sized cloves. In it goes, hit it with a tiny splash of oil. We're doing great. Start to mix it in, so beautiful, so great. And when it starts to get really fragrant, we add the remainder of our ingredients, which are cooked chicken, cut up, diced, in. I'm using chicken thighs because I like them. We're gonna add a can of diced tomatoes with the liquid, all good. Two cans of drained cannellini beans. That's really the important part in this recipe. About a half a cup of white wine, or would I like to use vermouth? About a cup of chicken stock and some thyme. I like just to throw the big twigs in to flavor. You can take them out easily after. And we season with salt and pepper, always. We mix. And we bring to a simmer, and we let it do its thing for about five minutes. And while it simmers, we're gonna add panko breadcrumbs to some melted butter. The butter's gonna add flavor, of course, and help the breadcrumbs take on some color in the oven, and we're there. And now we just wait till the breadcrumbs brown a bit, and then, uh, as they say in France, c'est fini. It is finished, it's gorgeous, it's perfect. You put in a bowl and you eat. And you, you get some French people making fun of you because of your terrible accent. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. And we're there. So here's what it looks like. You can get excited, but wait till you try it. Look, look, oh my gosh. So you get everything. You get chicken, you get sausage, you get the beans, you get some of the bacon. Little parsley. There we go. So look what we've got. We've got the breadcrumbs that are browned a bit, the sausage, the beans. We've got chicken. Oh my gosh. A little bit of bacon back note or whatever you'd call it. Oh, it's going to be so hot. But I, I want it all. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. The sausage, the chicken, the little bacon thing, the beans are so rich. But the the breadcrumbs just sort of like melt into this and give it an extra texture and 
deliciousness that would be absolutely missing without it. Is this a proper French cassoulet? Hell no. Is this a simple, quick, pretty easy, delicious freaking cassoulet? Absolutely yes. Make this. You'd be glad you did.